pretty delicious and amazing. You could just squeeze an orange over your steamed kale and that is good all by itself. You don't have to make, you know, the Dijon mustard and maple syrup if you don't want to have maple syrup. Just an orange on kale is amazing. Also, these potato waffles are really good. I will say though, if you have a waffle iron that does stick, you'll either need to lightly spray it or just don't do this at all because these, even these, have a really good non-stick pan or a waffle iron that's relatively new and it still wanted to stick. So you have to make sure to leave the lid down long enough. Don't pull it up too early or it will pull apart and be sticky. So, but these are amazing and I'm gonna enjoy it. And if you guys take your orange and put the segments on your kale, it is amazing. I know, it sounds really simple and plain, but it is so, so good, especially if you do do the Dijon and maple, but you don't have to. You can just squeeze an orange on there and have orange segments with your steamed kale. Amazing. Mm. All right, so I thought I'd take a couple minutes and answer some of your questions. I am filming in my bedroom right now because my husband is working from home and he talks really loud and he's on phone meetings and my children are running around me, behind me constantly, asking me every question possible about the universe. So, we are in my bedroom. Nacho is sleeping right here. Here's Nacho. See, here's Nacho. He needs a haircut. Huh, you need a haircut.
haircut. He's my lovey. Yeah, he doesn't want to cuddle right now. He's kind of like a cat sometimes, I feel like. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of questions and comments about you know, some of you are doing the 50-50 plate and you still haven't been able to lose any weight um, or some of you have gained weight. And honestly, like the biggest thing to look at is to really look at the fact that if you're in a healthy weight range and that those weight ranges I think are like between 20 and 35 or 40 pounds. So a healthy weight range for my height is anywhere from 112 to 140 pounds and I could just fall anywhere in there. So if you are already within a healthy weight range but you're still trying to lose like three, four, five, six pounds, it can be really difficult because our bodies are made to want to maintain a healthy weight. So if you're in a healthy weight range, then your body is probably really happy maintaining that. However, there are a couple things you can do. You can go down to a, instead of eating from a 50-50 plate, you can eat a two-thirds, one-third plate. So two-thirds non-starchy vegetables and one-third starches. The other thing you can do, and I will pop up a chart. This chart is by Jeff Novick and he's a nutritionist that teaches at the McDougal Center. He and Dr. Lyle and Dr. McDougal share this chart all the time. And so what they've done is said to start off your meal with either a soup or a salad. So a nice soup full of non-starchy vegetables, like a nice garden soup or a nice big salad, have that first and then move on to your 50-50 plate or your two-thirds, one-third plate. So that's another way you can get in lots of those nutrient-dense vegetables and a salad is a great way to get lots of raw veggies in and then move on to your plate. So whereas I mostly just went straight to a 50-50 plate, I didn't start with soup or salad, I was able to lose weight However, if I wanted to lose more weight, I could add those things in. I have started eating more salads because I'm trying to get more greens in and more um, just raw vegetables in general. And I do feel a lot better doing that, but that is, a, that is something you can do to dilute your calorie density even more. And yeah, don't sweat it if it's just those couple pounds, like I would really evaluate, like is it worth the trouble? If you try these things and your weight still doesn't want to budge and you're in a healthy weight range, then I would make your peace with your current state of sexy and just let that work for you and rock it out. If you are overweight and unable to lose weight doing this, um, then I would honestly go to your doctor and have your thyroid levels checked because a low thyroid can really, really make it difficult to lose weight. So I would just make sure that your thyroid is, you know, functioning properly and actually Dr. Neil Barnard has a really good new book out called My Body in Balance and I loved this book and he talks about low thyroid there and what to do. You can also listen to his free podcast called The Exam Room and I think they have the episodes on his website and on YouTube. I listen to them on Spotify but I will try to link that in the description box for you guys as well. But yeah guys don't you know again I want this journey to be about health for you guys and not just about the skinny. Enjoy your food. Don't be stressing about like oh my gosh is this too much starch? Is this too much this or that? Like you know try to resolve to enjoy the process. Enjoy nourishing and filling your body with all of these life-giving nutrient-dense foods and do try the whole starting your meal with a big salad or a nice big bowl of some vegetable soup and then moving to your 50-50 plate or your three two-thirds one-third plate and see how that goes that may be just what you needed to get your body moving in the direction that you want it to Lunch is super simple today. I'm having a huge salad with a bunch of greens. I've got apple, carrot, onion in there, and some corn, some pinto beans, and cucumber. And all I'm gonna do is put a really nice reduced balsamic vinegar on that. It's nice and sweet all by itself. And then I'm gonna have some baked fries and some ketchup. All right, and so this salad is literally like 
the size of my head or bigger and I have a big head. So this is a two and a half quart bowl. Um, but like you guys know, I eat a lot. I can, I can put a lot in my stomach. So anyway, yeah, this will be a great salad. Oh, let me show you the vinegar. So I'm just gonna put balsamic vinegar on it. It's a really sweet, if you get like a good quality one, they're sweet naturally and they're great all by themselves as a dressing. You can mix it with some Dijon mustard if you want. There is, I think it's called Napa Valley Organics is the one that you can find in any store. So I'll try to find that one so you guys can see what that looks like and I'll put that in the description box for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna of course enjoy my potatoes and ketchup. So for dinner today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make the most delicious oil-free tater tots in the world. And of course they're super easy and I make them in the most lazy way possible. So those are gonna be really good tonight. It's tater tot time. Okay, so to start, all I'm gonna do is take a bag of oil-free hash browns and these are from Walmart. And it is a 26 ounce bag and I'm gonna do two of these bags. So all I'm gonna do is take these and put them in my steaming basket and steam them up for five to 10 minutes to get them cooked. This is the handiest tool. I will link it again in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. So my potatoes cooked in 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna add them to this bowl. And I have leftover kale from breakfast this morning, so I just chopped it up and I'm gonna add that to our tater tots. You, of course, don't have to do this, but any opportunity to get some of those greens into my kids. I'm just gonna add a few teaspoons. I'm just gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. And you can adjust these to your own taste. Now I don't salt these because every time I salt it and I taste it like this, it tastes good. And then I go to cook it and all the water evaporates out and then they're really salty. So we just throw a little salt on at the end if we need it. The kids don't even salt them, so. All right, so this is the basket to my air fryer and I'm gonna pop some in here and then I'll pop the rest in the oven. And I like to wet my hands so the potatoes don't stick. And this is all you do guys is form these little tater tots. You don't even have to do that. You could just like drop spoonfuls of this onto some parchment paper for baking in the oven or into here. The rest, I'm just gonna put them on my parchment lined baking sheet and I'll cook them in the oven. Okay guys, so that is it. A super filling and delicious dinner. These are so good. 
I cooked the ones in the oven at 425. If you have convect roast, use that because that'll help get them even crispier like the air fryer does. But they do take longer in the oven. So mine took about 45 minutes in the oven, whereas the air fryer was done in 30 minutes. But yeah, you guys should give it a try. And remember guys, if you want to go back for seconds and thirds, go back for seconds and thirds. This isn't about being hungry. You don't want to go hungry at all. But if you go back for seconds, make sure you arrange your plate the same way. So if you're doing the 50-50 plate, then go back for half your plate full of veggies and half your plate full of starch. And always eat your veggies first because you may find that after you eat your veggies, you're no longer hungry for your starches. And the same goes if you're doing the two-thirds to one-third plate. You know, always eat your veggies first. That way you fill up on the lowest calorie dense foods first. All right guys, so that is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember you can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki for more food and lifestyle inspiration. You can also find me on Facebook at the Plantiful Kiki page as well. Remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.